Hello there. Just like any other language, English also features quite a few so-called eponyms, words that can trace their origin to someone's name. Today we'll have a look at a few of those eponyms in English. Do you know what the following things are? These are wellies or wellingtons or in full wellington boots. They were named after Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington. Most people know him as the British general who defeated Napoleon at Waterloo, but he was actually also Prime Minister of the UK twice. Originally, Wellington boots were leather boots, but the meaning later changed to the type of waterproof rubber boots that we all know. We all know a sandwich a convenient type of food that's culturally quite important in Britain. It was named after the 4th Earl of Sandwich. Sandwich is a place in Kent near Dover. The story goes that the Earl of Sandwich liked to spend hours and hours at the gambling table and didn't like to take a break to eat a proper meal. He tended to ask his servants to serve him a slice of meat between two slices of bread. His friends all knew this habit of his and they began to order the same as sandwich. The name stuck and the Hummel sandwich was born. However, the Earl of Sandwich is probably not the actual inventor of this type of convenient finger food. It had probably been around long before the Earl developed a taste for it. This is a Belisha beacon, which you can see all over Britain at pedestrian crossings. Motorists always have to give way to pedestrians wherever these yellow flashing lights indicate a crossing. The lights were named after Leslie Hoare Belisha, a Minister of Transport who introduced them in 1934. And surely everyone knows the bowler hat. The iconic hat was designed by the London hat makers Thomas and William Bowler in 1849 originally as a hat to be worn by gamekeepers. They would often go around the estate of their masters on horseback and the high top hats they used to wear were often knocked off by low hanging branches. The hard bowler hats protected their heads like a kind of helmet and as they were much lower than the top hats, they weren't easily knocked off. This is a Gladstone bag a small suitcase with a hinged frame that opens at the top into two vertically separated compartments. It got its name from William Gladstone, who was Prime Minister no less than four times during the 19th century. There are so many different ways of tying a tie, but this is called a Windsor knot. It's generally attributed to the Duke of Windsor, who liked a fairly wide knot in his ties. The title Duke of Windsor was created especially for King Edward VIII after he abdicated in 1936 because he wanted to marry Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee. And finally, a cardigan is named after the seventh Earl of Cardigan, whose troops supposedly wore this kind of knitted garment at the charge of the Light Brigade during the Crimean War in the 19th century. These were just a few eponyms based on British persons. If you'd like to know about any other elements of the English language or of British culture, please leave your suggestions in the comments below.